After coming back against Furman last weekend, the Bucks were hoping they still had something left in the tank against their in-state rivals, Chattanooga. As we head into Green Stadium, this is what the two teams were playing for. The winner keeps it for a year. Austin Herring, who lives just outside of Chattanooga, getting the start tonight. ETSU would strike first when Herring hits Quay Holmes, and he does the rest for the 54-yard touchdown. He keeps going, running into the end zone. ETSU leads 7 to nothing. Now. The Bucks' defense looked pretty good early on when this pass by the Mox is behind the line of scrimmage. That's a loose ball, and the Bucks recover it. Just a few plays later, ETSU would cash in when Holmes bulls his way in from the four yard from four yards, and ETSU leads 14 to nothing. The Bucks driving again when Herring goes over the middle to Kobe Kelly, who lays it out and makes the incredible catch. That would lead to a field goal. It was 17 to nothing once again. Bucks defense would come up big when Nazir player makes the strip sack and ETSU hangs on to upset Chattanooga tonight. Now it's time for some volleyball. Chattanooga at ETSU earlier today. The Lady Bucks off to a great start with an early lead in the first set. AJ Lux, she blocks that first spike and then it's saved by Maddie Hazley. Then the Bucks set up AJ Lux again who sets it over the net for the 25th point of the set. ETSU wins the first set. On to the second, Megan Kaufman with a subtle serve. AJ Lux wasn't able to get to that in time. Mocks up six to three. Bucks not giving in to the pressure. Alyssa Cavarda sets up AJ Lux, who set, sends it over the defender's head. Man, she was everywhere today, narrowing that gap. Chattanooga up 11 to 10. But ETSU goes on to win easily in three sets.